Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is a video that's been on my list for years and it never quite made the cut and then this whole quarantine thing happened. And uh, let's just say, let's move right up to the top. So I'm a little worried that making this video may result in an argument in my household. So I just wanna start with this disclaimer that all the events and ideas depicted in this video are purely fictional. Now, this can apply to your spouse, to any family member, to a roommate, to your kid, anybody you're living with who's just not holding their weight. The strategy here that I'm going to lay out for you all, it starts from sweet, moving on to progressively more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Savage. If you are new here to my channel, please take a second and hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you. And with that said, you know what? There is no time to waste, all right? We're just gonna get right into it, starting with hack number one. This involves having a family meeting and really starting off with a teamwork approach. So we're starting off here from square one. We are dividing our responsibilities amongst household members. So I would start the meeting by saying, okay, we're all spending a lot of time in our house. I think we wanna keep it nice and clean and tidy just for the benefit of everybody. So who wants to be in charge of what task? And then have a list of various tasks and let them choose what they want to be in charge of. So what do you wanna take on? Okay, here's my thoughts on that. You can take on the bathrooms with the toilets, floors, all of the dishes, and I will take out the trash. Now, if they're gonna try to sneak you and pick just the really easy things, don't let that slide. What I would do is I would have the tasks organized by you know, the most effort, medium effort, and least effort, and say pick one from each column. Tip number two, this is something I've been doing for years, okay? We're calling it DMZ, Designated Messy Zones. If you are dealing with somebody who is just allergic to putting things away, like no matter what you try, they just leave their stuff everywhere. The best thing you can do that I found in this scenario is give them their own designated space to be messy. So I call it a DMZ, you can call it a clutter bin, call it whatever you want. Put a nice little bin or basket in their space that they are tending to clutter up and say, hey honey, look, I know when you come home, you just wanna take your jacket off, take your stuff off. So how about, can you just do me a favor, put it in this bin and I won't bother you about it. Um, hold on a second. Colder, cold, cold, warmer, warmer, warmer. Warmer, hot, there you go. You want to be very strategic where you place the bin. Place it near where the mess occurs anyway and they're gonna be more likely to use it. Which leads me to tip number three. Make it easy for the people in your home to follow your system. So for example, if somebody in your household has a hard time putting their shoes in the shoe cabinet, not near it, you can make a new shoe zone for them that's right near the door. In my hypothetical household, you know, the shoe cabinet was a little bit too far from the door. So I made a new shoe area right next to the door. So there's no excuse. You literally walk in the door, kick your shoes off right here. So making it easy is going to set you up for success. The next tip, which relates to the last one, but kind of takes it up a notch, that is do your best to label things around your house to have a very clear visualization of where things belong. So there's no excuses or playing dumb of, oh, I just didn't know where that went. This was a very ongoing, long-standing issue with our pantry. Wait a second, where did my rice cakes go? Is this popcorn? Is this snacks? This is so confusing. Where am I supposed to put these? I would feel better putting this in the cake section than I would in the popcorn section because it has the word cakes on it. <laughs> now, if your significant other family member has a problem, let's just say putting the toilet seat down, you could put a very nicely worded note or label on the lid of the toilet seat that will just give them a gentle nudge or reminder. So this next tip I actually got from a toddler discipline book that I read recently and I was like, you know what? This could actually work. This could really work. So I call this the one word nag. So sometimes if you're constantly reminding your spouse or your family member to do something, they kind of tune you out. They think you're just nagging them. They stop listening, right? And worst of all, 
they feel attacked, they feel criticized. So the one word nag kind of gets around that. So let's just say your dad has a habit of coming in the door and hanging his coat over the couch instead of putting it in the coat closet. When you see this happening, instead of saying, hey, can you put your coat in the coat closet? All you need to say is coat. You do that while it's happening. And that one word will be a trigger, a reminder of, okay, got to put this back where it belongs but it is not attacking anyone. It is not making anyone feel bad. It's just a very gentle reminder. All right guys, so now we're going there. We're entering into savage territory. And this is kind of the last resort method. I'm not going to comment if this is something that I, I have done or not. Now, if you've tried every other tip that I've shared in this video and it still has not worked and you are still dealing with constant messes everywhere, then you may want to try the disappearing stuff. And that simply is, if their stuff isn't put away, then it just mysteriously disappears. Now I'm not saying get rid of the stuff, you just wanna put it into a safe place that once they realize it's missing, suddenly it's found again. So for example, let's just say somebody has a habit of doing their laundry and then leaving piles and piles of their clothes in the laundry room unfolded, now, one day, that pile of laundry may just disappear. Hey, have you seen my laundry anywhere? Uh, did you put it away where it belongs? What? Why would you even ask that? I always put my laundry away. Like, immediately. Like, sometimes I start folding it before it's even done. Usually in that case, what I will do next is I will just have it mysteriously reappear in the space where it belongs. After doing this enough, they should start to catch on. Those are kind of the best tips that I have learned and implemented over the years here in my household. But I do also want to give a tip or a strategy of how you deal with kids because look, they're contributing to the messes. And frankly, in most households, they are probably doing the most. One thing I will say is a mistake. I didn't really have Carter helping me clean up his toys and things until he was closer to three. And if I could go back in time, I would have had him start much, much earlier, so it just became ingrained. But you know what? Better late than never. Even though we started late, I came in strong, okay? So I now have a pretty strict rule in this household that we can't play with a new toy until the prior toy is fully cleaned up. So if he wants to play with his blocks, we have to put away his cars. Yay! About four months ago, I read a toddler discipline book. I will link it down below. And you guys, I am not exaggerating when I say it completely changed my life. Carter actually listens to me now. So I implement the strategies in that book. Frankly, I should make an entire video on it because legitimately every mom out there, if your kid doesn't listen to you, read this book. So that's going to be it. I hope I gave you guys some good actionable strategies that you can use with your household members because you guys, we all have to make it work, stick together, try to keep the family together without killing each other. Okay, before we go, please take a moment in the comments down below, let me know the thing that your spouse or family member or roommate does that drives you the most crazy. I just would love to read it. I'd love to commiserate with you guys out there. So with all that said, thank you guys as always so much for watching. If you are looking for more inspiration of how to organize around your house, how to clean around your house, I have a library of videos. I have over a hundred organization videos. So any space in your home you wanna organize, you can go to my channel, you can search it, and I guarantee you there is a video. And I have even more coming. I'm just waiting on some supplies coming in. It's you know, taking longer for things to happen, which is totally fine, but look out for those coming soon. And with all of that said, I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. Well, thank God we don't have to worry about that because we don't have a messy person in this house. Ton, hate to break it to you, but if you don't think there's a messy person in the house, you are the messy person. <laughs>